Hello there, my friends. Namaste. I'm Jill Loftus of Newit Astrology. Welcome to an Astro Rant. So I have quite a few of these that I've filmed, but it's been a hot minute since I had one. A lot of times these come to me when I have time to like be alone, work in the garden. And so this came to me the other day and it's really connected. I'm connecting in with this Venus retrograde cycle and particularly this upcoming new moon that is in Leo in August. And it is about NVIDIA. NVIDIA is a term that is used for spiritual disease that's caused by envy. All right. But it's mostly, it happens to the person who is being envied, right? If you have a lot of other people really sending kind of jealous energy your way, it can in fact deplete you. And I always think of this when I think of Leo season because so many people have trouble in particular with bold, beautiful women who are in charge and celebrating their awesomeness. So, um, this came to me when I was gardening the other day because I am having, I'm having a great year. I'm having a lot of change, <laughs> but particularly from the outside looking in, I have had a lot of, a lot of magical things happen. I married an amazing man. Um, we are moving forward with these beautiful visions of having retreats internationally, and I'm getting ready for a big um, bucket list trip, which I'll tell you about when I return. But I, um, I thought of this phrase that I, I remember my mom saying when I was growing up, and perhaps you've heard it too. She would hear of someone, um, something happening to someone, and I'm not, you know, I'm not coming down on my mom. Her life was so different than mine. She had so much less freedom. The women who were just one generation ahead of us had so much less freedom in their life to choose pretty much anything. And I remember her talking about somebody getting, you know, I don't know, something new, maybe it was a new car, maybe it was just something simple. And I remembered her saying, huh, must be nice. And I don't know why that came rushing back to me this summer um, while I was working in the garden. And I thought, wow, I wonder how many times I've said that about somebody. Huh, must be nice, must be nice to have this great vacation, must be nice to be, you know, having a great relationship, must be nice to have, you know, children who are healthy or this or that, right? And that all comes from envy. And it is a terrible, terrible sickness that not only we can send to someone else, but it also draws negative energy towards ourselves because it puts us in that cycle where we have to learn the consequences of someone being envy of us. Now that could be, you might think, well, hey, that puts me in a position and I'll end up doing something or being something that someone is envious of. But let me tell you, darling, you got a roof over your head and you have enough food to eat. There's a lot of people on this planet who would be very envious of just those two facts that we take for granted, right? So I really want you to think about where that comes from, what sense of lack within yourself comes up when you look at somebody and, and think a jealous thought or think must be nice, right? And I want you instead to shift it into this idea of instead recognizing that the issue is you, not them, and saying instead, wow, you know, wow, look at that nice car they just got. Well, I, I hope that that car lasts forever. <laughs> or, um, you know, I, I really love that dress that she got. I hope she can get two or three more because she looks so amazing in it, right? And you know, I have to point out where this NVIDIA, where my lessons on this came from as far as studying. And it is from the incredible magical book called Sastun, S-A-S-T-U-N, by Rosita Arvigo, who was the person who studied with the last living Mayan healer down in Belize. If you have not read this story, you have got to order that book right now. And he talks a lot about in um, the book about various spiritual diseases that as a as a healer helper he helped people to resolve in the story um one of the examples they give is 
um, a woman who had a parakeet or some type of bird. And oh, her sister envied that bird. And so whenever the sister was coming over, she would call ahead and say, oh, please cover the bird so I don't see it with my mal ojo, right? My, my bad eye, that I wouldn't gaze upon it with envy and cause it harm. And this is like a little side note, maybe similar, but maybe not, sort of. <laughs> um, I once had a home and we moved to this home and it had a big front porch. And down right over the hill, there was this just beautiful view of the mountains, but I couldn't see it because there was a huge weeping willow tree blocking the mountain. And I would sit on that porch. I love, I love me some porch sitting, especially if I'm out in nature looking at some beautiful things and I'm sitting there. And every time I'm there, I'm thinking, gosh, that tree is beautiful, but man, I really wish I wish that tree wasn't there. I would really love to see those mountains. And don't you know, it wasn't even six months. Wham, big electrical storm, lightning strike. Down comes the tree. Jill has her view. But at what cost, right? I didn't realize the consequences of my thoughts, of my pouring energy into, oh, I wish that wasn't there. So be cognizant of the energy that you pour into envy, whether you it's some rando person on the internet or it's a person you walk by at the grocery store, right? Maybe it's someone on social media. Start to change your mindset and then start to see how that shifts your relationship with abundance. And also, if you are someone who is suffering from physical or emotional pain and you think that it's possible someone is directing that envy towards you and siphoning, siphoning off some of your life force, definitely engage in some protective techniques um, in order to ward off that energy. All right. Well, I hope you found this um, interesting. I'd love to hear your opinions on envy and NVIDIA. I'd love to hear any personal experiences as well. Drop it down in the comments. And um, I do have a, I just realized I have a, there, go, there goes a deer. <laughs> oh dear. You're on YouTube now, buddy. It's a little baby buck. How cute. <laughs> Anyways, I do have a detailed um, video that I recorded for my membership on protective techniques. But if you would like one here on YouTube for free, let me know and I will, I'll prep one for you all as well. All right. Namaste, my dear friends. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, and, and I hope you understand the importance of your emotions and your mind and how they create your world. Namaste.